Hello guys, Jason here. Second video on the QSD record. Main part of this mixer is the fact that you can play SD cards and from any channel in the mixer record onto them. So I'm going to take the camera down in close and show you the very simple way to record and give you a couple of ideas of why you would want to. Okay guys, I've taken the camera in close into the MP3 part of the QSD record. Where the QSD record does vary from its predecessor, the QSD, is as well as being able to play tracks through uh, the SD card, through the MP3 player in MP3 format, what you can now do is record from any channel on the mixer back onto the SD card, and it will put it there in MP3 format. So let me show you how we do this. Here we go. Got an SD card. We're going to put that in the slot. Simple as that. In this case, I just want to record a track from my right-hand CD, which is going through channel 2 on this mixer. So we have like a little assign knob here, which we put down to number 2. As you can see, it's 1, 2, 3, 4. There's also a mic channel and the master. So the master will basically play, uh, record everything that's going out of the mixer. In this case, we just want to record from the right-hand CD. Now, very easy process. We press the record select, and it lights up, as you can see, in white LED. The play button now is flashing, and that's telling you it's ready. It's paused ready to record. A bit like the old-fashioned uh, tape decks from years ago. If you're under 30, you have to uh, ask your mum and dad about that, where you used to have to press play and record together. This is ready to go. All I have to do is press this and start the track. As you can see, it's coming up. Track 17, MP3, recording. Now, it won't be recording me talking through this, even though I can perform, I can talk, no problem, I can play music through other channels. It will only record from this channel, channel two. And we'll stop it. To stop recording, again, we just press this button, it's flashing. And here we go, it's done. So we'll stop the music. The player automatically cues the last track to be recorded. So track 17, the little icon for pause is flashing there and the pause play button is flashing as well so we're ready to go let's press that and see what the recording was like and if you notice except for me talking now there's no track of me talking previously it's just the music right we'll stop that so why would you want to record onto SD card from your mixer? Well, if you're into your mixing, we always say on uh, these channels that uh, we've got to practice. Well, a part of practicing is the analyzing of what you've done. Now, this is the easiest way. You can record your whole set and you can instantly return to that or take it home and put it into your computer and play back your whole set. Listen where you've done really well, where you haven't, and it will give you an idea of uh, what you might need to change next time and what you might need to keep in. And from a mobile point of view, exactly the same. Uh, if I'm at a wedding or something, I can imagine myself recording on this and then later on listening to see how I got on, how I done, which parts worked well, which parts didn't work so well. Good from that point of view. Also, if uh, somebody at a wedding comes up with a, a particular track on an MP3 player but they don't want to leave the MP3 player with you, you could transfer it over while you were doing the gig on the other channels. You could transfer it over onto the SD card and you've got the track to use later on in the evening. I think it's important to think a little bit out of the box with some of these new products and think of your own applications. Something that just crossed my mind uh, that I think would be very useful, uh, especially for the up-and-coming DJ, uh, the club DJ that wants to move over to wedding and uh, mobile work uh, where you know you may need to use the mic quite often and specifically for quite important parts of the evening i.e at a wedding the bride and groom's first dance of the evening where you have to say a few words sometimes not a lot but you have to say a few words 
then bring the track in that they've requested. So uh, this is my idea of what you could use the record for, is to basically pre-do that part of the evening. And I'll show you what I mean. The first thing that you have to do is turn the selector knob round to master. It's then telling the MP3 player that it can record everything that's going through the mixer, including the microphone channel. We've loaded the CD and queued up the track that the bride and groom have chosen for their first dance. That is something always worth double checking because you don't want to play the wrong thing for the first dance of the evening. We press the record button and it goes into pause mode, ready to record. What I would say is uh, please excuse the DJing skills, but this is just a demo. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. If I can ask you to give a big round of applause to the bride and groom, Practice and Leroy, as they make their way to the dance floor for their first dance of the evening. Here's Al Green. Let's stay together. So you would let the track go right the way through to the end, so it would be an independent segment, basically the track with an intro. And if you feel that's what you wanted to use on the evening, it's ready to go, you haven't got to make the speech. Of course, things can change, and um, there's no guarantee that that's going to fit in as you need it to, but it gives you a little bit of a respite if you're brand new to this game. The MP3 player, after recording that, goes straight into pause mode, it's queued that up, ready to go. So let's hear what it sounds like. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. If I can ask you to give a big round of applause to the bride and groom, Practice and Leroy, as they make their way to the dance floor for their first dance of the evening. Here's Al Green. Let's stay together. Well, not bad, not bad. We're bringing the camera up now. <laughs> well, that was fun anyway. And, uh, if nothing else, uh, you can practice and get that just right. And the whole point is, if you don't want to use it actually in your live performance, you can record yourself and hear how you sound. I mean, don't worry, none of us like the sound of our own voices the first time you really hear it. But uh, trust me, after a while, uh, we all, uh, us DJ guys, we do like the sound of our own voices. Well, my wife says that anyway. <laughs> the other thing is sound drops. Wonderful for sound drops and uh, very easy to achieve. And look, we, it's not a good thing really on occasion to do your own sound drops. You, know, you can get somebody like Wavy Davey, who does a wonderful job. I'm going to get some. I must contact you, uh, Wavy, about those. And uh, you can put them on the card, push them in, away you go. Well, what about this? I gave the microphone to my daughters yesterday and we just had a mess about. So uh, let's just press the play. This is uh, my 10 year old and 6 year old. Playing your music today is DJ Jason Early. And uh, the next one, there were a couple of really dodgy ones on here, but here we go. That's my daddy, the DJ. I like that one. That's a good one. Right, let's have a look. Number 11. DJ Jason Early. He's the daddy. I like that. And this one? That music is funky and I'm a monkey. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> I love that. That's brilliant. We're going to switch that round. Here we go. Um, easy as that. And the kids love it. You give them a few words, you know, get them to say funky and dancing and here's a song for you and whatever you want to say. Give it to your kids. They will love it. And uh, you can get some good little uh, uh, sound drops. And that was in a few minutes. You know, if we sat down and I, I gave them the microphone and we could have taken longer and got it just right. But I like some of those, so that was good fun. Anyway, enough from me. I hope that's uh, made it a little bit clearer how you record on the brand new mixer from American Audio. It's the QSD Record. Record straight onto your SD cards. So from me, Jason Early, remember, no dump dump. Practice and enjoy. Enjoy.